what you can, all right. During the long and expensive summer holidays, these free lunches can be a lifeline for families on low incomes. Yeah, you'll have to blow it, won't you? These are all children who rely on free school meals during term time. This community centre in Wakefield makes sure they won't go hungry this summer. What other foods have you had this week so far then? Lasagna, salad and fish fingers. How many days a week do you come down here? Well, pretty much all the time. It's not just about the food. There are free activities too. More parents than ever are needing the extra help. It's mainly a sticking plaster on, on a situation that is um, deprivation the whole year round and is only going to get worse in areas like this and we plead with government to do something about it. The Eastmore estate has a strong sense of community, but there's extreme poverty here too. The rising cost of everything is making life even harder. I found myself one day with literally no money. I hadn't even got milk to, to give my son. When Caroline reached crisis point, discounted food from this community pantry helped her get by. Look favourite hot dogs here. But with Joshua's preschool closed for the holidays and childcare expensive, it's been a difficult summer. I don't have any other support or, or help for him, so all the money I have is, is just for us. Um, so it's really tightening my belt, you know, and as you said, some things I would have bought one week I can't buy, you know, so, and I have to, to think long term into the future in the winter. It's and going to be horrible. In terms of income coming in then, is it the universal credit? Unfortunately, just universal credit. How much is that at the moment? I'm only on £500 a month, um, so that's to pay all my bills. So as you can imagine, I'm not left with a whole lot to support myself and Joshua for a month. It's estimated that 2.6 million children are living in households facing food insecurity and often start the day hungry. Demand for some school breakfast clubs has tripled since 2019 and at the same time, councils are warning that due to funding changes, there's less money to support families with children. Schools are going well beyond their conventional roles. They're setting up food banks, holding breakfast clubs, putting on employment classes for parents. And they're doing all of this at a time when their budgets are being squeezed and they're having to do more with less money. At this academy in Bradford, the end of term doesn't mean the work stops. In many ways, the schools become an extension of the welfare state. Sometimes the students may come in and say, we've got not much to eat, um, can I have a food bag? And these are ready to hand out. The level of need is so great, school staff make home deliveries so that their pupils and their families have enough to eat. This is an initiative we've started this year um, but because of the current state of affairs in the economy is meaning that our, some of our families can't afford the basics, um, the milk and the bread. And a couple of weeks later, the summer school is up and running. A welcome break for parents like Roy. The government needs to do more uh, to support families. So like, for example, I'm a full-time full single dad uh, to a 10-year-old boy. It's not easy at the moment for any parent. Cost of living is high and it's more the gas and electric what worries me the most because it's kind of like, um, it doesn't seem to be stopping. And that unstoppable inflation is also hitting school finances. They can't help everyone. Our budgets are very, very tight. So in regards to the food parcels, we are very fortunate to be working with local charities. But in regards to the vouchers, yes, we do get some support from the council. But the, I mean, we're put in a quite vulnerable position ourselves, having to select families that we feel are the most vulnerable. Bye, thank you. Back in Wakefield, Caroline has enough food to keep her going for another week. To address rising costs, the government says it's providing £37 billion to help the most vulnerable families. Charities just hope these donations keep on coming to get parents through this difficult time. Sarah Corker, ITV News.